birthday message and karmas when your birthday is coming celebration is awaited you wait to get the greetings from friends and family but when an occasion comes like this it is a great responsibility for me why is there responsibility existence has poured itself into me and with your open heart and arms you have welcomed me it becomes a greater responsibility for me to share my being my presence in myriad ways so that a new software is installed into you buddha says blessed is his birth blessed is the teaching of the new when you are born birth becomes an unconscious age and then one day you attain to your innerness or total awakening then the birth that comes into existence as an unconscious even becomes blessed one only then you are blessed you are the cosmos a transformation from you begins now you are the light and light cannot be contained light radiates beauty and fragrance overflows therefore his coming into the world is a blessing to the world to himself and to others as well blessed is the teaching of the way as the fragrance overflows bees gather and then spontaneously one day he starts teaching one day he starts sharing his presence and being creates an energy field indeed it is a sharing he has already come home and he starts calling others who are still wandering in the darkness to return to home to return to innerness up to now you have been a seeker i ask you not to be a seeker anymore you had been seeking for too long how long you will spend time in seeking seeking this or that start living the time has come to start living living moment to moment start being as well in the pursuit of seeking along you are missing the opportunity to live stop seeking and start living start living stop seeking eat when hungry and while eating be utterly there in it become the eating let eating become your prayer fall asleep when tired but really fall asleep to them and if no dream happens that is a total sleep sleep then becomes a prayer a dreamless sleep is meditation sleep totally whatsoever you do walking talking sleeping eating anything that you do or you can conceive of as an action be totally into it forget all about seeking god instead i teach you to live god living in godliness all seekings are future oriented seeking begins tomorrow and tomorrow never comes is start living now is still you want to know what is my message 
If so, then you are still asleep. And in that situation, I am here to wake you with each word and message, shake you to your roots, infuse in you a yearning so that your journey inward begins. You have been living your life like a computer. Computer has a system installed into it. A program. Maybe that program acts as an operating system in you. Then the computer is susceptible to viruses from outside. The virus from the society, your own virus, then virus in the form of ignorance and that leads to many kind of activities which have inflicted our society, mankind, these are viruses. In order to remove these viruses, we need to deprogram or deprogram our system. We have to reinstall the software into our computer so that it becomes virus free. You see the oneness. No more divisions and when you cannot see you have discarded the virus of divisions on various basis there is oneness, then the life will become, life will be a totally a different aspect. You have been acting in a particular way because of your software. Maybe you have a software world or the operating system which is outdated. You need to upgrade that system or rewrite a new software. Karma is a software that either you have installed and then your conditionings, the society comes into it as a virus and you are virus infected software which cannot function properly it will distort all the information in the name of religion, caste and creed. And that is what the world is inflicted with. The, there is no, karma does not mean that there is a punishment and reward. It is simply a consequence. There is a law of gravitation and if you do not follow, there is a consequence. There is a roof and across the other side, after a distance, there is another roof. You are trying to go from this roof to the other without respecting the law of gravitation, what will happen? As a consequence, you will be subject to pain. Many years ago, many centuries ago, there were problems like polio and other, other infections. Someone gets his legs severed or something or the other. Children are born polio affected. What did we do? We changed the software, we invented new software and techniques and methodologies to change that state. In the same way, we need to do that. And when I say that karma, a simple act, you have a problem in your stomach, you ask me if I could do something, I take a knife, 
and do an operation. This is intentional for your benefit. Then all of a sudden, I am playing with a knife, a knife slips out of my hand and hits you and kills you. This is another type of karma. Suppose you have a property or something that I want to get. So I come in the garb of a friend, try to look for the opportunity to grab that property from you and looking for the opportunity to kill you. This is another intention. Karma is not important. What is the intention behind this is important. And that determines the consequence of it. If you are ready to face the consequence, then you can choose any way of your life. A karma is like a GPS system. When you are ready to go to some place, you punch in the address and the entire GPS system guides your way, works out the, the route for you, gives you the time, the space, speed and everything. But if you have put your information wrongly, then the GPS system will indicate you that you have that what you have punched into it is not available or if you have missed the road it will in that situation it will recalculate the route distance and everything karma comes into your life like a GPS system or a software and when you have installed the software into your system, everything will begin to happen according to that. The software that has been installed into you is based on division, diversity, diversity and ignorance on the basis of religions, caste, creed, nationality, and we have overlooked one factor that there is existence is oneness. All those people who are causing atrocities in the name of religion, do they have their own sun, moon, sky or air that they build? Everything is seen then what is the problem? That problem is of the software. Software that has been installed and gives the distorted information and many kind of viruses you are susceptible to it. Just as if your immune system is weak, you can be easily influenced by the virus that is around in the atmosphere. Long time the viruses were not there so much as we are seeing now. A little change of weather, you, are, you catch the virus. But if your immune system is strong enough, you have installed all the mechanism into your system that you are not affected by the viruses. In the same way, your operating system is not susceptible to the outside viruses. Then all those atrocities that are happening now will not happen. It is the responsibility of each one of us to create a new software in whosoever we need. I am, my effort is to create a new software into you. I ask you 
to be happy and let there be oneness because once the software changes you have updated software that entire cosmos is a synergistic harmony then you will start seeing the flower instead of thorns you will start seeing beauty instead of ugliness you will start seeing joy in pain i do not ask you to have a vision to see beauty everywhere instead i start seeing happiness in sorrow joy in pain and when you start doing your gestalt begins to change then no karma nothing can inflict you or no virus can affect you if we want to bring about a change into the world the greater responsibility is on those who have become light who are embodiment of awareness who have attained experience oneness within is not that only i can do that each sentence that is spoken on a day to day basis has the capacity to bring about a transformation if it is understood and this is stored into your system properly a single word a single message is more than enough to bring about a transformation into your life and then you can bring that into the other sphere you have the capacity to bring about a change in the other in your environment just as the bulb never doubts its capabilities the moment it is lit it is capable of bringing light wherever it is you are the light you are aspiring for the light once you have courage and you can bring about a change in the others once it happened lala ji razilla taala uno wrote a letter to his master and complained about lack of interest in the people he mauli sahab maulana fazl ahmed khan razilla taala uno wrote a response and that is a great lesson for each one of us beyond time and space the time has come allah masha allah bahut thode murid fidai hote hain bahut thode peer bhi very few disciples are fidai means devoted and very few masters are also do your responsibilities do your bounden duties with good intentions without being bothered about the actions ultimately it is the divine who does everything it is you have to do your official work whatever is given to you and in doing that you are setting an example for the people slowly and slowly that can bring any fruit the effect my presence can create an effect only if i have confidence in me the when then the words becomes a source of light words become a fragrance they are not an ordinary word instead they carry a greater force and capability to bring about change you i am not trying to change the content of your life's actions i cannot do that all i am trying to do is rewrite a new program 
so that your intentions behind each action changes. Intention behind each action changes and that is the beginning of a new way of looking at life and humans. No action is good and bad. It is the intention behind each act that determines everything, the nature and effectiveness of the action. If I go into the details of the theory of karma, I can speak of theories, but behind every theory there is, in fact, there is a practical aspect. I continue to do the actions, to share those with you all, my own examples, simply because someone follows my actions. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, I have nothing to gain in the three universes. Why am I working? Son imitates the father, the girl imitates the mother. So you are the role model for someone or the other. Through your actions, through your understanding, through your day-to-day -day behavior, you may be doing it unconsciously, but someone else speaks of that and acts like that. The children, they pick up. Someone or the other is following you, looking at you as a role model. So be conscious of your actions, be conscious of that intentions, allow the love to overflow profusely, and then you will become a light, maybe a dim, to bring about light into a dark field. The most important thing is the software to change. And the moment you install a new software, things will begin to change. I ask you to be happy. I ask you to be conscious because the light that reaches you lends you a new vision and you can see beauty in ugliness, joy in sorrow and flowers in place of thorns. That is the way to create a new software. You may wonder how am I going to create a new software? You are not computer and I am not a software engineer. But when my light flows into you, it gives you a new vision, a new way of looking at the circumstances and situations around you. You can start looking beauty in ugliness. And almost all the mystics and the poets have said that you have to look into happiness and sorrow, beauty in ugliness. And the moment you start developing that capability, as such as you are, in everything, you look into the things according to your software. You see the division, you see diversity, but I see oneness and uniformity in everything. Oneness and uniformity in everything. That is my light, my understanding, my awareness. And this will give you a new vision, a new way of looking at the circumstances and situations. If you are conscious, you can go into any act. You are ready for the consequences. And if you decide 
to go in a vehicle with a drunken driver. The imp and he meets, gets into an accident. The impact of that will come to you because this was your decision to go with that person. No one else is responsible. The moment you accept the responsibility of all that is happening in and around you or yourself, you way opens for you. But we do not take the responsibility. We feel that it is the man who was driving wrong. But who did decide to go with that man? A drunkard? You decide to do electricity yoga because somebody told you yoga is very good so you decided to do electricity yoga. You know how to do electricity yoga? And if you want to do it, give it a try. Remove the bulb from the socket. Put on the switch and put your finger into it slowly and slowly and touch it and see what happens. A consequence. You are going into, if it happens by accident, it gives you an opportunity to withdraw it immediately. Every time when a danger comes, it gives you an awareness to withdraw itself instantaneously. Without of ignorance, we overlook that hint that has been given to us at that moment. But if you are aware, you are an electrical engineer, no problem to go into that act because that is necessary to, to go into electrical socket, electrical hot wire because something needs to be corrected. So when something needs to be corrected because I come like an electrical engineer, I know how to enter into a particular situation when someone mentions of his problem, they are not going to affect me. But it can affect you because you are not prepared, you are not ready, you have not developed a mechanism around you to keep away. You, as an ignorant one, want to help someone and you go and by mistake touch the electrical current direct. You will get a shock. But on the contrary, the electrician, his body is capable of absorbing certain minor shocks. Then he uses the gloves, which are not the conductor of electricity. He uses a particular kind of shoe, so there is no contact with the earth. So master comes like that and he can get the problems resolved. As I come into this session, there have been certain questions. Question when I spoke on, made a mention of Vigyan Bhairav Tantra. So to, for me to explain in details, someone mentioned about Vivekanand physics and Akashic records. If you simply understand the cyberspace, nothing is visible in cyberspace, but everything is stored in the cyberspace. And in modern terminology, Akash means the sky. Akashic records means all that is spoken. Happened is stored into the existential archives. We have national archives. This is existential archive where everything is stored. But in order to access that, you need a certain kind of software, certain kind of capabilities, certain kind of mechanism. And once you are capable of that, you can connect to 
any of the past masters and this will come to you in the form of your intuition or ilham as the word Sufis use. It will come through your kashp or intuition. Even when the energy field begins to flow through your kashp, the master knows this is the energy field of this particular master or this particular she or anyone else. On this day, when existence has poured itself into me, it is a greater responsibility and this responsibility keep on increasing on a day-to-day -day basis to share more and more intensely from the deepest core of my being. Someone said he found the talks are more intense than before. Maybe I am speaking more intensely or we are developing an understanding better. It is two things go simultaneously. The more your understanding capacity increases, the more intense will become the talk. If I just meet a person who is shallow, I'll just speak onto the surface. But if I meet the person who is deeper and a deeper interest, then I can go to a different level. That's why I say, whether you are interested in my silence or not, there are some who are capable of imbibing the silence that I am. But the silence sometimes assumes the form of words. Those who are interested in words, for them there are words. Whether you like my silence or not, there are people who like the words because that is the level they are at. But whether you like these things or not, you must like the food that I cook. They are at a different level, different level of enjoying the life with good food and good time and so, so on and so forth. I have the matter for everyone. The moment you start moving from one to another, you will be supplied, you will be shared with that which you are capable of understanding. This is the reason I go on sharing on whatever media that I have it available. And I respond to every single message that comes in the form of a birthday message or something or the other. And this talk is for all those people who have sent their messages as a celebration, as a manifestation of Tao Shu Buddha. I share with you my love, my presence, 